Hello family, this is Pastor Dennis here once again on Just a Word, just as I do it every week. This week, I am going to bless you with the Word of God. I thank God for all that has been happening, and it's a time to think and reflect on all that Jesus did for us on Calvary. He died for us, and He gave us this victory, and He gave us this grace that we now find ourselves in. Isn't that exciting? My question is, is there a shortcut at all to anything in this life without the consequence? Is there anything that you can do or just to fast track to your way to success and not pay any price or without any consequence at all? Is there anything like that? I think no one is prepared to go through the sacrifice or no one is prepared to pay the price for it. We hate process. We don't want to wait for anything because we only see the successes of people without knowing or fully understanding or realizing that there definitely must have been a price that they paid. And so this is our problem. We all want to make it so quick. There is a sacrifice for greatness. Nobody came to or nobody got to the place of greatness without any sacrifice. And if not for anything at all today, what I want you to put in mind or what I want you to understand is you have to work so hard. Whatever that you are seeking to attain in this life would require of you hard work. You would have to pay the price. Now, Jesus gives us the perfect example. He is the perfect example. As a matter of fact, Bible says that he left his heavenly throne for you and I. For our sake, he had to come and die. He had to take upon him the nature of a man. This was the sacrifice Christ made for us. You should know that greatness comes with sacrifice. And Jesus gave us an example. Now in the choosing of his disciples, every one of them had to leave something. Every one of them had to sacrifice something. The sons of Zebedee, Bible says that they left their father and they left their fishing boat. Every one of the disciples Jesus called had to leave something behind. And so as a child of God or anybody who is seeking to attain something in this life, there is a popular saying which goes that you cannot eat your cake and have it. You can't have it both ways. If you really want to see to wit that you are successful, then definitely there are certain things that you have got to leave behind. As a pastor, if I really want to excel, if I want to teach good, if I want to preach good, if I want to do the work of God in the way that he expects of me, I would have to work harder. There are certain sacrifices that I have to make. I cannot have it both ways. And so that is what it is. Every one of the disciples had to walk away from something. And that brought their greatness to bear. Why? Because they were willing to sacrifice something. They were willing to leave certain things behind. In the book of Acts, the story is told about Philip who went to Samaria. And in Samaria, there was a man who was called Simon as a magician. And he won the hearts of many in Samaria up until when Philip came in and he preached the good news. And the Bible says that he believed in the good news and he turned away from his magic stuff for he turned away from his former life. But when the disciples heard in Jerusalem, they sent Peter and John to come over to Samaria just to see what is going on. And Bible says that when they got to Samaria, um, Peter and John began to lay hands on these people that have believed. And as they laid hands, they received the Holy Spirit. And when um, Simon the sorcerer, who is now a convert, saw the laying, of, uh, the laying on of hands had brought about them receiving the Holy Spirit, he said that, can I pay for it or can I give you money so that I will also be able to lay hands on people and they would also receive the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that Peter said that may you perish with your money. To think that the Holy Ghost can be bought with money. The lesson for us is he taught, he made a mistake thinking that he could rush himself into success. There are certain things that cannot be fast-tracked. A lot of things can be fast tracked, but there are certain basic things in life that you cannot do anything about it. You have got to pay the price. Peter and John had stayed with Jesus. Peter and John had walked with Jesus. Peter and John had gone that mile. They had denied themselves. They had walked away from their profession. They had stayed with Jesus. They stayed under the feet of Jesus. He had gone through a time where he was reinstated after he gave up on Christ. And so what he has cannot 
be passed down unto you just because you think that you, you could buy it with money. You cannot, not until you go through the process. There are certain things that only come by experience. Or what Peter had received of the Lord for so many years of his experience, Simon the sorcerer thought that he could only buy it with money, but that was not possible. I came to tell you that in this life, you have got to wrap your head around the fact that there are certain things that would only require of you a great sacrifice. And not until you make those sacrifices, you will not get to the position that you are determined to get to or you not get to the place that you wish you were because you have to make the sacrifice. Now in the book of Philippians chapter 3, Philippians chapter 3 verse 7, Paul says that, but whatever was to my profit, I now concede a loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. For whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish. So we see Paul here talking about the things that he has walked away from. He's in his past life, everything that meant anything to him, everything that meant everything to him in his past life, he says that they are rubbish. Why? Because he has found love in Christ because of the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ. If you are able to make some sacrifices by your sacrifice, we can tell we can tell how badly you want to achieve we can tell how badly you want that which lies ahead and paul said that because it is greater greater than the things i had in the past greater than all the honors greater than all the name that i made because of that i am willing to let go and now i don't consider them anything at all i consider them as rubbish they don't mean anything to me why because there is greatness in knowing christ jesus beloved i want to encourage you if you want to go far in your walk with the Lord, you should be prepared to pay the price. You should be prepared to make certain sacrifices. Some of you, you have got to walk away from certain friends of yours. Some of you, you've got to walk away from a certain lifestyle. Some past life has got to go because you have found Christ. And to be able to make success in what you have found, you must be willing to pay the price and make the sacrifice in the name of Jesus. If it is worth it, then and you would give up on everything that meant something to you in time past. May the Lord richly bless you as you have made time to listen to just the word. Remember, there is no quick way to anything or shortcut to anything. You have to make that sacrifice and pay the price. God bless you.